Part 1. The Distress Signal The bridge of the starship Odyssey was bathed in an eerie red glow as the klaxons blared, signalling a crisis of unprecedented proportions. Captain Arya Vance gripped the armrests of her command chair, her knuckles turning white with tension. Report, she barked, her steely gaze fixed on the viewscreen. We've picked up a distress signal from the Kepler-186 system, Captain, Lieutenant Zara Frost, the ship's chief engineer, responded, her fingers dancing across the console. The signal is faint, but it's definitely not of human origin. Arya's heart raced at the implications. They were deep in uncharted space, far beyond the boundaries of known civilizations. An alien distress signal could mean first contact, or it could be a trap laid by hostile forces. Either way, she knew she had to investigate. Set a course for Kepler-186, she ordered, her voice unwavering. Maximum warp. As the Odyssey lurched forward, streaking through the inky blackness of space, Arya couldn't shake the feeling that they were hurtling headlong into the unknown. She had faced countless dangers during her career as an explorer, but this mission felt different, charged with a sense of foreboding that sent shivers down her spine. Minutes ticked by like hours as the crew monitored the situation, their nerves on edge. Suddenly the viewscreen flickered and a massive alien vessel appeared before them, dwarfing the Odyssey in size and technological prowess. We're being hailed, Captain, Ensign Talia Reyes announced her voice trembling slightly. Arya steeled herself, drawing upon every ounce of her experience and training. On screen, the viewscreen crackled to life, revealing a bizarre, otherworldly scene. Towering spires of crystal seemed to twist and undulate, casting kaleidoscopic patterns of light across the alien bridge. At the centre of it all stood a figure that defied human comprehension, a being composed of pure energy its form shifting and pulsating in mesmerizing patterns. Greetings, travellers, the alien boomed, its voice reverberating through the Odyssey speakers. We have awaited your arrival for eons. Arya exchanged a bewildered glance with her crew. This was no mere first contact. They had stumbled upon something far more profound, something that could either unlock the secrets of the universe or plunge them into a nightmare from which there was no escape. As the alien's words echoed through the bridge, Arya knew that her life and the lives of her crew would never be the same again. They were about to embark on an adventure that would test the limits of their courage, their resilience, and their very understanding of reality itself. With a deep breath, she stepped forward, her jaw set in determination. I am Captain Arya Vance of the Starship Odyssey, we received your distress signal and came to investigate. Please, tell us what's happening here. The alien's form seemed to shift and contort, as if it were contemplating its response. Finally, it spoke again, its words sending a chill down Arya's spine. The end is nigh, Captain Vance, and you are the only ones who can prevent the unravelling of existence itself. Part 2. The Alien Encounter A heavy silence hung over the bridge of the Odyssey, as the crew processed the alien's ominous words. Arya felt a knot of dread forming in the pit of her stomach, but she refused to let her fear show. She was the captain, and her crew looked to her for guidance, especially in situations as dire as this. "'What do you mean, the end is nigh?' she asked, her voice steady despite the turmoil raging within her. "'And how can we prevent this unravelling of existence?' The alien's form seemed to pulse and contort, as if it were struggling to find the right words to convey its message. You have stumbled upon a nexus, Captain Vance, a convergence point where the threads of reality intertwine. For eons, we have been the guardians of this nexus, ensuring that the delicate balance of the cosmos remains intact. Arya exchanged a bewildered glance with Zara, who was busily analysing the data streaming in from the alien vessel. The chief engineer shook her head slightly, indicating that she was just as perplexed as the rest of them. But our time as guardians is drawing to a close, the alien continued, its voice taking on a sombre tone. The forces that maintain the nexus are unravelling, and if left unchecked, 
the entire fabric of reality will be torn asunder. A collective gasp rippled through the bridge crew as the implications of the alien's words sank in. Arya felt a surge of determination rise within her, pushing aside her initial trepidation. Tell us what we need to do, she said, her voice ringing with conviction. If there's a chance to stop this unravelling, we'll take it. The alien seemed to regard her for a moment, its energy form pulsating in an almost contemplative manner. The task before you is one of immense complexity and peril, Captain Vance. You will be required to delve into the very heart of the Nexus, where forces beyond your comprehension hold sway. Are you and your crew prepared to face such a challenge? Arya turned to her crew, meeting each of their gazes in turn. She saw determination, resolve, and perhaps a hint of fear, but not a single person wavered. We're ready, she declared, turning back to the alien. Tell us what we need to know. The alien seemed to nod, or at least mimic the motion through its shifting energy patterns. Very well. The first step is to understand the nature of the Nexus itself. Brace yourselves, for what you are about to witness will shatter your perceptions of reality. With a blinding flash of light, the view screen flickered and distorted, and suddenly the Odyssey crew found themselves staring into the heart of a cosmic maelstrom. Swirling vortexes of energy and matter collided and intertwined, forming intricate patterns that seemed to defy the laws of physics as they understood them. This is the Nexus, the alien's voice boomed, reverberating through the bridge. A place where the boundaries between dimensions blur, and the impossible becomes reality. It is here that the threads of existence converge, and it is here that you must venture, if you hope to prevent the unravelling. Arya felt her mind reeling, struggling to comprehend the magnitude of what she was witnessing. But amidst the chaos, she caught glimpses of something else. A pattern, an underlying harmony, that seemed to govern the movements of the cosmic dance unfolding before them. How? she breathed, her voice barely above a whisper. How do we even begin to navigate something like this? The alien's energy form seemed to pulse with renewed intensity. That is where my knowledge ends, and your true journey begins, Captain Vance. You must seek out the remnants of those who came before us, those who once understood the secrets of the Nexus, only then will you have a chance to restore balance to the cosmos. Arya felt a weight settle upon her shoulders, the weight of a responsibility she had never imagined shouldering. But as she looked around at her crew, their faces etched with determination, she knew that they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Tell us where to start, she said, her voice steady and resolute. We'll do whatever it takes. Part 3. The Ancient Artifact the bridge of the Odyssey was abuzz with activity as the crew pored over the data and coordinates provided by the enigmatic alien. Zara Frost, the ship's chief engineer, was at the centre of the maelstrom. Her brow furrowed in concentration as she analysed the complex information stream. Captain, I think I've found something, she called out, her voice cutting through the din. These coordinates seem to be pointing us toward a celestial body in the Gamma Quadrant just beyond the outer reaches of the Kepler-186 system. Arya Vance stepped closer, her eyes narrowing as she studied the holographic display. What is it? A planet? A space station? Zara shook her head, her fingers dancing across the console as she enhanced the image. It's difficult to say for sure, but it doesn't match any known celestial body in our databases. The readings are... odd, to say the least. As the hologram zoomed in, Arya felt her breath catch in her throat. The object in question appeared to be a massive, jagged structure of some sort, its surface pulsating with an eerie, iridescent glow. Intricate patterns and symbols adorned its surface, forming a language or code that defied comprehension. What are we looking at, Lieutenant? Arya asked, her voice tinged with a mixture of awe and trepidation. Zara pursed her lips her eyes narrowing as she studied the data intently. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say it's some kind of ancient artefact. 
possibly left behind by the civilization the alien mentioned, the ones who once understood the secrets of the Nexus. A hush fell over the bridge as the implications of Zara's words sank in. If this artifact held the key to navigating the cosmic maelstrom they had witnessed, it could be their only hope for understanding the nature of the Nexus and preventing the unravelling of existence itself. Set a course, Arya ordered, her voice ringing with authority. Maximum warp. We can't afford to waste any time. As the Odyssey lurched forward, streaking through the void of space, Arya turned to her crew. I know what we're about to face is unlike anything we've ever encountered before, she said, her gaze sweeping across the assembled officers. But I also know that each and every one of you has the courage and determination to see this through, no matter the challenges ahead. A chorus of nods and murmured assent greeted her words, and Arya felt a surge of pride and confidence in her crew. They were explorers, pioneers, the best of the best, hand-picked for this very mission. Lieutenant Frost, assemble a team, she continued. Once we reach the artifact, I want you to lead the away mission and investigate it thoroughly. Find out what secrets it holds, no matter what it takes. Zara straightened, her eyes burning with resolve. Aye, Captain. You can count on us. As the Odyssey hurtled through the void, Arya couldn't help but feel a sense of foreboding. They were venturing into the unknown, chasing after a phantom from a long-forgotten civilization in the hopes of unravelling a cosmic mystery. But deep down, she knew that this was what they had all signed up for, the chance to push the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding, no matter the cost. Little did she know, however, that the ancient artifact they sought would hold revelations far more profound and terrifying than any of them could have imagined. Part 4. The Heart of the Nexus the away team materialized on the surface of the ancient artifact, their forms shimmering into existence amidst a kaleidoscope of pulsating lights and intricate patterns. Zara Frost took a moment to steady herself, her eyes wide with awe as she surveyed their otherworldly surroundings. Fascinating, she murmured, her tricorder already humming with activity as it scanned their environment. This structure is like nothing I've ever seen before. The energy readings are off the charts. Lieutenant Kalen Rice, the team's security officer, tightened his grip on his phaser rifle, his gaze darting warily from one shadowy alcove to the next. I don't like the look of this place, Chief, he growled. Too many unknowns. Zara shot him a pointed look. That's why we're here, Lieutenant, to unravel the unknowns. Before Kalen could respond, a sudden pulse of energy rippled through the artifact causing the ground beneath their feet to tremble violently. The team staggered, struggling to maintain their footing as the world around them seemed to shift and distort. What's happening? Encintalia Reyes cried out, her voice tinged with panic. Zara consulted her tricorder, her brow furrowed in concentration. I... I'm not sure, she admitted. These energy fluctuations are unlike anything I've ever seen. It's almost as if the artifact itself is trying to communicate with us. As if on cue, a blinding burst of light erupted from the centre of the structure, coalescing into a shimmering image that hovered before the away team. Zara gasped, her eyes widening in recognition. It's the Nexus, she breathed, the same cosmic maelstrom we witnessed on the viewscreen. Indeed, the image before them was a breathtaking representation of the Nexus, swirling vortexes of energy and matter colliding and intertwining in an intricate dance of cosmic proportions. But as Zara studied the image more closely, she noticed something else. Patterns, underlying harmonies that seemed to govern the movements of the maelstrom. I think... I think this is how the artifact is trying to communicate with us, she murmured, her fingers flying across her tricorder as she attempted to decipher the complex data streams. It's showing us the heart of the Nexus, the place where the threads of existence converge. Kalen let out a low whistle, his grip on his phaser loosening slightly. If that's the case, then we might just be onto something here. Zara nodded, her eyes never leaving the shimmering image before them. But this is just the beginning. If we want to prevent the unravelling of existence, 
We need to understand the nexus on a deeper level. We need to decipher the patterns, the underlying harmonies that hold it all together. As she spoke, the image seemed to shift and distort, new layers of complexity emerging from the cosmic dance. Zara felt her breath catch in her throat, her mind struggling to comprehend the sheer magnitude of what she was witnessing. Captain, she said, tapping her comm badge. You're going to want to see this. I think we're on the verge of something truly extraordinary. Arya Vance's voice crackled over the comm, tinged with anticipation and just a hint of trepidation. On my way, Lieutenant. Keep analysing those readings. We can't afford to miss a single detail. As the away team delved deeper into the mysteries of the artefact, each new revelation brought them closer to understanding the nature of the Nexus and the terrible consequences that would befall existence itself if they failed in their mission. The stakes had never been higher, and Zara knew that they were merely scratching the surface of a cosmic enigma that would test the limits of their knowledge, their courage, and their very understanding of reality. Part 5. The Desperate Gambit The tension on the bridge of the Odyssey was palpable, a heavy silence punctuated only by the occasional beep of consoles and the murmured exchanges between crew members. Arya Vance paced back and forth, her brow furrowed in concentration as she awaited the latest report from the away team. Captain, Zara Frost's voice crackled over the comm, laced with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. I think we've made a breakthrough. Arya's head snapped up, her heart pounding in her chest. Go ahead, Lieutenant. After analysing the data from the artefact, we've managed to decipher some of the underlying patterns and harmonies that govern the Nexus, Zara explained, her words tumbling out in a rush. It's... it's like nothing we've ever seen before. The Nexus isn't just a cosmic phenomenon. It's a living, breathing entity. A Nexus of consciousness and reality itself. A collective murmur rippled through the bridge crew, as they processed Zara's words. Arya felt a chill run down her spine, her mind struggling to comprehend the implications. And, she prompted, her voice steady despite the turmoil raging within her, what does this mean for our mission? There was a pause, and Arya could almost envision Zara taking a deep breath before continuing. It means that we might have a way to stabilise the Nexus, to prevent the unravelling of existence, but it's going to be risky, incredibly risky. Arya's grip tightened on the back of her command chair, her knuckles turning white. Tell me. The artefact has given us a glimpse into the inner workings of the Nexus, Zara said, her voice tinged with a mixture of awe and apprehension. We now understand the patterns, the harmonies that hold it all together. But these patterns are delicate, like the strands of a cosmic web. If we can find a way to weave our own harmonic frequencies into the Nexus, we might be able to stabilise it, to restore balance to the fabric of reality itself. A heavy silence descended over the bridge as the crew digested Zara's words. Arya felt her heart pounding in her chest, her mind racing with the implications of such a daring plan. But, she prompted, sensing the unspoken caveat hanging in the air. Zara's voice was grave. But in order to do this, we'll need to tap into the Odyssey's warp core, diverting massive amounts of energy into creating the harmonic frequencies necessary to interact with the Nexus. It's... it's something that's never been attempted before and the strain on our systems could be catastrophic. Arya felt the weight of the decision pressing down upon her shoulders the weight of countless lives, perhaps even the fate of existence itself, hanging in the balance. She looked around at her crew, her gaze lingering on each of their faces, faces etched with determination, courage, and perhaps a hint of fear. Prepare the ship, she said finally, her voice ringing with conviction. We're going to take this gambit, no matter the cost. A chorus of affirmative responses greeted her words, and Arya felt a surge of pride and determination wash over her. They were explorers, pioneers, the best of the best, and they would face this challenge head-on, no matter the odds. As the crew sprang into action, 
Arya turned her gaze toward the viewscreen, her eyes fixed on the swirling vortexes of the Nexus. They were about to take a leap into the unknown, to venture into realms of reality that defied comprehension. But if they succeeded, they would not only save existence itself, they would forever etch their names into the annals of history as the ones who unraveled the greatest cosmic mystery of all. And if they failed, well, Arya refused to entertain that thought. They would not fail. They could not fail. The fate of the universe depended on their success. With a deep breath, she issued the order that would set their desperate gambit into motion. Lieutenant Frost, initiate the harmonic sequence. Let's weave our strand into the fabric of the cosmos. Part 6. The Final Confrontation The Odyssey shuddered violently as the warp core strained under the immense power demands of the harmonic sequence. On the bridge, consoles flickered and sparked, bathing the crew in an eerie, pulsating glow as they fought to maintain control of their desperate gambit. Structural integrity is at 72% and dropping, Captain! Lieutenant Kalen Rice shouted over the cacophony of blaring alarms. We can't keep this up for much longer! Arya Vance gripped the armrests of her command chair, her knuckles turning white with tension. Reroute auxiliary power to structural reinforcement, she ordered, her voice cutting through the din like a blade. We have to hold it together no matter what. Zara Frost's voice crackled over the comm, strained but resolute. The harmonic frequencies are synchronizing with the Nexus, Captain. But there's something else happening, something we didn't anticipate. As if on cue, the view screen flickered and distorted, revealing a sight that sent a chill down Arya's spine. The swirling vortexes of the Nexus were rippling and pulsating with newfound intensity, unleashing waves of cosmic energy that battered against the Odyssey's shields. The Nexus is reacting to our interference, Zara exclaimed, her voice tinged with a mixture of awe and trepidation. It's almost as if it's fighting back, trying to resist the harmonic stabilization. Arya felt her heart pounding in her chest, her mind racing to comprehend the implications of Zara's words. They had known this gambit would be perilous, but to think that the very fabric of reality itself was actively resisting their efforts, it was almost too much to fathom. Captain, we're being hailed by the alien vessel, Ensign Talia Reyes announced, her voice cutting through the chaos. They're demanding we cease our interference immediately, or face the consequences. Arya's jaw clenched, her eyes hardening with resolve. Put them through! The viewscreen flickered, and the towering, almost godlike form of the alien materialized before them. Its energy patterns rippled and pulsated with barely contained fury. And when it spoke, its voice reverberated through the Odyssey like a thunderclap. You fools, it boomed. Do you have any idea what you are tampering with? The Nexus is not some cosmic plaything to be manipulated and controlled. It is the very foundation of existence itself, and your meddling threatens to unravel the entire fabric of reality. Arya stepped forward, her chin raised in defiance. We're trying to save existence, not destroy it, she retorted, her voice ringing with conviction. The Nexus is unravelling, and if we don't stabilise it, everything we know will cease to be. The alien seemed to pause, its energy form flickering and distorting as if it were struggling to comprehend Arya's words. But before it could respond, a massive shockwave ripped through the Nexus, unleashing a torrent of cosmic energy that slammed into the Odyssey, with staggering force. The ship lurched violently, consoles exploding in showers of sparks as the crew was flung from their stations. Arya felt the breath driven from her lungs as she was thrown against the bulkhead, her vision swimming with spots of darkness. Damage report! She gasped, struggling to her feet amidst the chaos. Structural integrity is at 28% and falling, Kalen replied, his voice strained. We can't take another hit like that, Captain. Arya looked around at her crew, their faces etched with fatigue and fear, but their eyes burning with determination. They had come too far, sacrificed too much, to give up now. Lieutenant Frost, reroute all available power to the harmonic sequence, she ordered, her voice unwavering. We're going to stabilize the Nexus, no matter the cost. 
There was a tense pause, and for a moment Arya feared that Zara might disobey the order, unwilling to risk the lives of the crew in such a desperate gambit. But then her voice crackled over the comm, laced with steely resolve. I, Captain, initiating final harmonic sequencing now. The Odyssey shuddered and groaned as every ounce of its remaining power was diverted into the harmonic sequence. The warp core strained against the immense energy demands, flickering and pulsating like a vast cosmic heart. On the view screen, the Nexus roiled and churned, its swirling vortexes seemingly fighting against the stabilizing influence of the Odyssey's harmonic frequencies. The alien vessel loomed in the distance, its energy form pulsating with fury as it unleashed volley after volley of cosmic fire. But amidst the chaos, amidst the fury of the cosmic maelstrom, something extraordinary was happening. The harmonic frequencies were taking hold, weaving their way into the very fabric of the Nexus, restoring balance and harmony to the cosmic dance. Arya watched in awe as the swirling vortexes began to stabilize, their frenzied movement slowing and coalescing into a breathtaking tapestry of energy and matter. The Nexus was no longer a chaotic maelstrom, but a living, breathing entity, a nexus of consciousness and reality, governed by the harmonic patterns that the Odyssey had woven into its very core. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the battle was over. The alien vessel flickered and vanished, its energy form dissipating into the ether. The nexus pulsated with newfound serenity, its harmonies resonating through the cosmos like a cosmic symphony. Arya sank back into her command chair her body trembling with fatigue and relief. They had done it. Against all odds, they had stabilized the Nexus, prevented the unraveling of existence itself. As the crew erupted into cheers and celebrations, Arya allowed herself a small smile. They were explorers, pioneers, the ones who had ventured into the heart of the cosmos and emerged victorious, their names forever etched into the annals of history. But as she gazed out at the Nexus, its harmonies washing over her like a cosmic embrace, Arya knew that their journey had only just begun. The secrets of the universe lay before them, waiting to be unravelled, and she could not wait to see what other wonders and mysteries awaited them in the depths of the great unknown.